about Kevin and Indy from the last night Love After Lockup or the Now episode. First, I want to talk about Kevin because I want to get into him and his new girlfriend. Well, the girl that he's in an open relationship with. But first, Kevin says that he's been doing really good. He went from being a company operator at this trucking company to buying his own truck. He dropped $65,000 on his own truck, and he now has his own business, and he's raking in the dough, according to him. So Kevin said since he knocked out Curtis on the show, he's also knocked out a few more dudes. And he said he don't got time for no weenies. And Kevin said since him and Tiffany broke up, she started dating a new dude named Tom. And they've been together ever since. And he says for the most part, he hears that they're happy. Kevin didn't claim Kayla when he was asked about her. He said they still talk here and there. And he said that Kayla is just a girl who will not give up. And they have like a love-hate relationship. So he said that him and Tiffany, when they're together, they try to, you know, recruit another girl and have like a little sister wife's thing going on. And he said that he tried to convince Tiffany and Kayla to be cool with each other. But instead of them like wanting to get together and hook up, he said Kayla and Tiffany were getting together and like just gossiping about him and comparing timelines. And it didn't really work out the way he was wanting it to. I don't know. Looking back now, I question if they even really ever had a real relationship, Kevin and Tiffany, or if it was just all for the show because he always had Kayla in the background and he didn't seem like he had any intention of settling down. And then Tiffany, the first day out, she has another dude in the background, Curtis, picking her up. And then as soon as they're done filming, she starts dating another dude. And then he's back to you know I guess not with Kayla but messing with Kayla so Kevin said that there was rumors that he hooked up with Indy after there's videos from Britney's birthday bash when she had all these cast members come out like she had Deontay, Indy, uh, Chevelle, Quaylen were all there and Indy was grinding up on Kevin and he was smiling he seemed like he enjoyed in the videos so at this time, Kevin was still messing with Kayla, and when Kayla saw this video of Indy grinding on Kevin, she started spiraling. She started posting back-to-back -back story posts, cussing out Indy, calling her every name in the book, throwing shots at her looks, and then uh, she was blowing up Kevin nonstop, and when Kevin quit answering her, she starts blowing up all the other cast members that were there at that birthday bash that night. She starts blowing up Deontay's phone. And blowing up other people's phones who were there and calling them all sorts of names and just being super aggressive towards them over Kevin's actions when she admitted that they weren't even technically in a relationship at the time. They were just sleeping together. But she still said she was hurt. And then come to find out, Kevin wasn't even sleeping with Indy that night. He slept with this girl who is Brittany's friend. And that's the girl that he's in an open relationship with now. We're going to get more into her here in a second. But Kevin admitted that he did not sleep with Indy that night. He said that's just normal club activity for him. And Indy said they didn't hook up either. They're just both single and drunk and enjoying themselves. You know, I was shocked though. Love After Lockup kept it real clean because they didn't even touch on all the drama between Indy and Kayla that went on regarding that night when they went out to the club. You know, because I thought that was a big reason why they brought them back, Indy and Kevin at the same time, is because they wanted to get into that drama. And Kayla was a big part of that drama and they didn't even touch on that at all. So Kevin said that he's in an open relationship with this girl named Felicia, which that's the girl he actually slept with that night. And he said that Felicia is the complete opposite of what he's used to. She's open, she's chill, she's honest about everything. And she said she's a super classy woman that's really respectful. But she's currently locked up and she's going to be in prison for the next year. And I'm honestly shocked it's only a year due to the amount of money that she scammed. So I'm going to read part of an article talking about what led to her getting charged and what she's serving time in prison currently for. So it says, a Florida man and Texas women have been ordered to prison following their conviction of wire fraud during the COVID-19 pandemic. So Dylan and Felicia, which that's Kevin's current girlfriend or girl he's in an open relationship with. 
So in January, Felicia and this Dylan dude, they both pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection with a scheme to defraud the United States of COVID-related disaster loan proceeds. So what she did, her and this Dylan dude, they went around and they told people, okay, we can help you try to see if you can get approved for a PPP loan. You know, back when they were giving out PPP p loans left and right it seemed like everybody was getting them it seemed like and so she's like let me see if i can help get you approved so she's get these people's personal information she would use it to create falsified documents and she applied for ppp loans on their behalf and she ended up having over 241 fraudulent ppp loans which totaled to over a million dollars she received from scamming all these people and those people didn't see a single dime of any of that money and now she has to pay back all that money in restitution then again with the damn fan questions they really asked this man they said okay answer a fan question do you consider yourself a short king i'm like what fan is asking this question like i said in my previous video talking about these fan questions i think they're just making them up because i don't know any fans that are asking that question and if they're taking these questions where are they taking these question submissions at but anyways, now I want to talk about Indy. I feel like they didn't give us a lot of updates on Indy. She said that her mom actually is not bounty hunting anymore. She said that she's taking a break for a while and just chilling. So Indy said after the show ended and she decided to move back to Maryland, she said that Harry was dating Terry, but he was still messing with Indy on the side. She said that he came out to Maryland a few times and hung out with her and hooked up with her. And she went out to Ohio a few times while he was living with Terry and he snuck out and hooked up with her. And she said that Carrie is now in jail, as a lot of us know. He was sentenced to six and a half years or about six years. I think it was like 72 months in total. And he got caught drunk driving and he had a gun that wasn't registered and he's already a felon so he's not supposed to be in possession of a firearm whatsoever oh i almost forgot because this wasn't mentioned on the show either this dude larry well the cop comes up to his car and when the cop was trying to stop him he drives off and the cop was hanging from his car and he's literally fleeing i think they dropped the charges for him driving off with the cop hanging off the car because he could have been facing a lot more time if they didn't drop it but they dropped some charge related to that but right now indy says that she's in communication with harry but she says they're not back together she says he wants to be with her but she says that she's just focused on herself and she says she would never say never when it comes to getting back with Harry, but she says that she, he has a lot of work to do on himself first, and if she did go back to him, she wouldn't put up with the same behavior twice. I think she just needs to keep Harry at a distance because, like she said, Harry's charming and he's a smooth talker. And I think if she gets with him face to face, even though he's not going to be out for another six years unless she goes to visit him in prison, then I feel like if she sees him in person, then she's just going to melt like butter right in his arms again and go running right back to him. But if she just keeps him at a distance, I think it's going to be a lot easier to control those feelings and set boundaries and say no to him. I think they need to have a spinoff where they put like the best single cast members all at a resort and just let them drink and party and hang out together and have a good time and see what happens. I think they could get some pretty entertaining content and when you mix single cast members, uh, there's bound to be some craziness to happen. But that's it for this video guys. I'm so happy because after 90 long days, I am finally monetized again and back in the YouTube partner program, baby. I feel like I was never going to be able to say this again. It has literally been the hardest 90 days of my life. I'm so happy to be back in business, baby. So I'm going to be uploading on my main channel once again and be uploading all my channels there. I'll probably keep my other channel for, I don't know, I was, I'm still trying to decide. Probably stuff that's not reality TV related, but I'm going to be posting consistently on here. Thank you so much for everyone who stuck around during this difficult time. But that's it for this video, guys. Also, check out my lashes and my lash products at AccordingToAmber.com. My lashes are made from high-quality synthetic fibers that are soft and fluffy like real mink fur. 
but they are very lightweight. They have a very thin band. They're super comfortable and lightweight on the eye. They can be reused up to 20 plus times with proper care. And I love these lashes and I'm sure you will too. So you can use the code 20 off and you can get 20% off your whole order. So if you want to try my lashes, this is the time. But that's it for this video guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.